My name is Diana. My Instagram is VanillaMoon22. I've always been into astronomy as a kid, and you know, as a young adult, I kind of got out of it, just more focused on school and work. And then lately, just having a life change, just wanted to really revisit my passions again, so I got back into astronomy. Once I realized that I could get into it and I started looking on Instagram and seeing the kind of photos that I that people are taking, just normal people, like they're just in their backyards taking these photos, I realized I can do that. Not only do I get to look through a telescope and see space, see the universe, I can actually take photos. And that blew my mind. And I had to start from absolute zero, start from scratch. But I wanted to learn this so bad, I didn't care about all the obstacles. Like I was willing to learn and you see, I've only been doing this for a couple of months and I already took my first shots last night. Yeah, and it's been, it was so worth it. Seeing, taking that photo and seeing those images come up on my camera was so worth everything that all the hard work I've done to learn how to do this. Everyone in this community is so patient and helpful. All the guys that are here helped me, even while I was here all weekend, helped me get set up, take my first images, kind of work out some of the kinks with my gear because again, I'm learning every little thing. This is an amazing place. We have observatories here um, with these huge telescopes. And it's just amazing. And we have all this, this, the way it's set up is everyone can bring their own gear. And have, I have this own big slab for me to look at. And I see the whole sky. I could see the Milky Way with my naked eye. I see thousands of stars above me. I could not sleep last night. I couldn't go to sleep until the sun came up because it was just so beautiful. It's a small little telescope, but it Cosmic background. Um, he was the first one that made me realize that it is accessible, this hobby is accessible. And when I found out after watching his video that he had an Instagram, that's actually how I discovered Instagram. I was never on Instagram before. So I'm pretty new to Instagram as well. <laughs> so I saw that he had Instagram and I saw his images and that's when the fire in me went on. And I kind of saw other astrophotographers on there, uh, Vast Reaches, um, just has some amazing deep space objects. And also Dustin Gibson, he, <laughs> is really just one of the best astrophotographers in the world. I just, and he's actually one who's helped me so much get into this hobby, be part of this community and learn everything as a complete beginner. And I won't be a newbie forever. I think I feel eventually I can help others. Um, also, there aren't a lot of females in this hobby. There are a few I've come across and I would love to inspire more females to be a part of it. There is kind of like a little barrier uh, especially as a female, you wonder like, I want this help, but you know, I also want to be treated like an equal. And I've had that here. Everyone has been treating me like an equal and that's something I was not sure about. But I want to show anyone, young, old, male, female, if they're brand new, have never done this, have no skills in this hobby, that if I can do this, you can do this. So that's kind of part of what I want to do too. I want to do this for myself, explore space, enjoy the beauty of the universe and also kind of create this into an art. I would love to be able to take pictures of space and kind of process it in a way where it becomes a piece of art. I think the biggest thing about getting into this hobby is not being afraid to fail and not being afraid to ask for help. You know, because the best way to learn how to do something is to ask those that are actually doing it because they can help guide you. And this community is so, you know, generous and supportive. There's many ways to get involved in this hobby. You can remotely control a telescope, you know, using Dustin's observatories. It was just one night, maybe an hour on Twitch, uh, on, Dust, on Dustin's Gibson Picks Twitch. He trained me on how do I actually remotely go in, control these telescopes, and I was controlling that telescope behind you in that observatory. I was in Phoenix controlling that telescope, and I shot M63, which is the Sun Fowler Galaxy. I shot that, and I have my photo of it. I sh it was over 30 million light years away and I took a, took a picture of it. It was my first picture actually. So start taking pictures of the moon when it's up. Take pictures of the stars, of Venus, of the Milky Way if you can get to a dark sky. Like really just a $200 DSLR, you can do a lot with it and you can build your way up and you know, get your camera, eventually get your mount, get a telescope. Those little telescopes you can get under $1,000. Yeah, don't be afraid to take baby steps. I, I dove into this because I knew that's what I wanted, but not everybody can. This hobby is so rewarding. I don't think anyone will regret it.